everyone, my name is Jessie Jennings and I'm here at Plaid. Welcome to our 2022 Walmart New Product Spotlight. So all week we've been showing you all of the brand new and super exciting products we have um, for you guys this year in Walmart stores and on walmart.com. So we've talked about really fun paints. If you guys have been joining us right here on Facebook all week, we've talked about some of our new glitters, our new specialty formulas, um, our new dots and mandala paint. We have talked about some of our great new tools, um, our new surfaces at Walmart, which we have hundreds of. We have talked about so many exciting things. So if you missed those live streams, you can find those right here on Facebook. So you can go back and check those out and see all of the new products. And today, um, for our last live stream of the week, we're really excited to talk about some of our brand new Folk Art and Apple Barrel colors. So of course you guys know and love our two um, favorite paints here at Plaid, Folk Art and Apple Barrel, both of which are carried at uh, Walmart. And this year we have some really fun new colors for you guys to show you. And not only do we have new colors at Walmart, but we have put together some really awesome color palettes and color trends to share with you. So we hope you guys are inspired by what we show you today. Um, I've got Emma Panuski here in the studio to talk all about those trends and all about those brand new colors. That again, if you want to purchase them, you can find them in your local Walmart store or on walmart.com. Um, and as usual, I have the iPad here. So if you guys feel like um, asking questions or commenting, please feel free to do so in the chat and I'll be reading those to Emma or trying to answer them myself as we go. But um, without further ado, I'm gonna pass it over to Emma to talk about our new color trends. Awesome, thanks Jess. So I wanna give everybody a warm welcome. Welcome to day five, our last day of our 2022 Walmart new product spotlight. Like Jesse said, today we are going to be talking all about our brand new Apple Barrel and Folk Art colors that are launching in Walmart this year. So make sure to check out your local Walmart or go to walmart.com to pick up some of this really awesome paint. Here at Plaid, we have curated five special color palettes and then chosen from those color palettes some really um, inspired and unique colors and then made them into Apple Barrel and Folk Art paints, which of course are available at Walmart. Uh, that's why we're talking about it today. But um, so yeah, we have curated five really unique color palettes and I'm gonna go over each color story, talk about why we chose that color story and why we chose those specific colors from those stories. And hopefully that is exciting to you all at home. We are so excited to share it with you today. So let's scoot this aside. First, we're going to be talking about some brand new Apple Barrel colors. So this color story that we're gonna be talking about is called Punchy Pastels. And you guys can see we have these beautiful, really soft and modern looking pastel colors all in our Apple Barrel line. So the special thing about these color stories is that we've chosen, chosen colors uh, from these palettes and then we've made them available in either our regular acrylic formula of Apple Barrel or our multi-surface formula. So if you don't know about Apple Barrel paint, it is a really, really great staple paint, acrylic paint on the market. It's non-toxic, it's really easy to clean up just with some warm soap and water. And it's made right here in the USA, which we're really proud of. So right here we have our punchy pastels. You can see we made these beautiful candlesticks. Um, we ombre this cute little terracotta pot. We made, uh, this is actually a paper mache planter that we adhered with some glue to a candlestick and made this really unique piece of home decor. And then lastly, of course, we have this really beautiful geode painting with a lot of those punchy pastel colors. And so I'm excited to share with you guys, there are three, three new colors in this color story that are launching in Walmart this year. They are um, Apple Bear, Apple Barrel, Tangerine Cream, Peachy Pink, and Granite Gray. And the exciting thing is that these three colors are gonna be available in regular, uh, their regular acrylic formula, as well as multi-surface paint, which is super duper exciting. Um, that's why you can see here we have this terracotta pot because our Apple Barrel multi-surface paint is weather resistant, which is very, very exciting. So you can craft for your outdoor spaces this year. And this is a really great color palette for spring. It feels so timeless and um, like it's really great for any time of year, but it's especially great for it this time of year. Um, it's so modern, it's very youthful. This is a great uh, color palette for younger people to pick up 
or just really people of all ages. It's so fun. I love that now. And I love um, that we have all these great pastel colors in Apple Barrel, which we always have had, but I love that we've added to them and put together this color palette for you guys because pastels are so trendy this year, not just for spring, but all year long. We saw them during Christmas time. Um, if you guys were here earlier this week, we talked about our new uh, pastel color shift colors too. So these would go great with those as well. So I'm super excited about these new Apple Barrel colors. Yeah, I love that idea, Jesse. Um, that's a great point. If you tuned in earlier this week, I believe it was Monday, we talked all about our three new colors of folk art color shift that we launched in Walmart this year. And they're all three really beautiful pastel colors. So this color palette in particular would look really, really nice with some of those color shift pastel colors. Definitely. Okay, so let's move on to our next curated color palette. So this color palette is all about the road trip. We picked some really uh, rugged and woodsy colors, some nature-inspired colors. Um, what I love about this color palette is that people are really having an emergence of going back outside, going back into nature. And so with this color palette, you can craft some really beautiful pieces that reflect those interests of yours. So um, the new colors that we chose from this specific road trip color palette are Canyon Sunset, which is available in our normal uh, regular acrylic folk art paint as well as multi-surface, um, Daybreak, Hazy Moon, Lush Meadow, and Teal, which is now available in multi-surface, which is super exciting. So we have our beautiful teal here. Look how pretty um, this lush meadow is. This is one that I'm super, super excited about. It's this really beautiful, cool green color. It's almost like an emerald green. I absolutely love that. Yes, it's like like we said, it's very uh, nature inspired, this mm -hmm. one in particular. Oh, also I forgot to mention, we also have roasted pecan, which Ooh. is this beautiful warm color. It has some underlying notes of red, which I love. That's awesome. Yeah, so we have a lot of these neutral colors in this color palette, some beautiful grays and browns and light yellows, and then we have pops of those um, kind of gem-like colors with those teals and those emeralds and these beautiful vibrant oranges as well. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about what we crafted with this color palette. So here we made this really cute little cactus that you can either use a stencil for to decorate or you can hand paint it. Um, I'm pretty sure Tanisha did this one. She did such a great job. It is so painterly and so uh, beautiful. If you were holding it right about here, it would really look like a real cactus. <laughs> um, so we have this really sweet guy. And then we made this beautiful ombre terracotta pot with just a really organic looking ombre design that we blended from the top to the bottom of our pot here. And it really resembles like a canyon sunset. It really does. Which is yeah. one of our new colors. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, I know, right? Um, we have this beautiful hand-lettered um, mountain range. I think you did this one, right, Jesse? I did. <laughs> yeah. And so that's one of my favorite techniques, too, is watering down paint to use as a stain. Yes, totally. I'm pretty sure Jesse used our roasted pecan here, which mm -hmm. is, uh, makes a great stain. So like Jesse said, the great thing about our folk art paint, it's so rich and creamy. It's really artist-inspired. You can see just how clean and precise Jesse was able to hand-letter on top of this just regular wood surface. Yeah. Um, like we said, it's really artist inspired. It's great for intermediate painters, beginner painters, and then also more advanced painters. So we love making uh, hand paintings with our folk art paint here. But like Jesse said, you can water down some of your roasted pecan like we did in this case here, and then uh, use it as a stain for your projects, which is super exciting, especially if you're working with little our hands. You don't want to stain their hands, of course. And just like our apple barrel paint, our folk art paint is water-based, non-toxic, so super easy to clean up, great for crafters and painters of all ages. And again, like our apple barrel paint, this is made right here in the USA. And then lastly, we have this really beautiful color-blocked canyon sunset with some of our luscious meadow here, this beautiful sunset that um, we ombre at the top here. And then what I love about these color palettes is that we have these curated right here 
and um, hopefully these these will inspire you guys today. But the great thing about this is that you can add on top of them. You can take out what you don't like. You can add more. Um, like we did here, we added a touch of Treasure Gold, which is just a really fun pop of our specialty paint that you can uh, add into any of these color stories. And you know, we're talking about these color stories. I want to remind you, they're not kits. We've curated these color palettes um, with the, um, the thought in mind that we wanted to bring you guys some new colors that were really uh, trendy and that we were seeing in a lot of the crafting and art trends. So we made all of these uh, color palettes, but you guys can make your very own color palettes with these brand new color stories and with these brand new um, paints at Walmart. Okay. Do we have any comments about Road Trip or Punchy Pastel so far, Jess? Not yet. We have lots of people watching, though. Okay, awesome. So I'm going to reach for the third okay. palette. So just, guys, in case you're just joining us, um, we are talking all about our brand new colors in Walmart that we have in our Folk Art line of paints as well as our Apple Barrel line of paints. And in addition to the new colors we have this year in 2022, both in-store and on Walmart.com, we are showing you some of the curated color palettes we have put together using those new colors. So existing colors that you know and love and maybe already have in your crafting stash, which is great. Um, you can sort of supplement with our brand new colors for 2022 and you will be able to create these beautiful, beautiful color palettes that we are suggesting for you. So Emma is talking about some of those. You've already gone through our punchy pastels and our road trip colors. And now she's got a couple more um, beautiful curated palettes to share with us. Yeah, so perfect timing, Jesse. We're ready for our next two color awesome. stories to talk about. So this one I'm really excited about. We're calling it Folkloric. Okay, um, this very. <laughs> makes sense. Yes. <laughs> um, this kind of color story is super trendy right now. We have these really rich um, jewel tone colors. They're really dark and luscious. Um, and they're really cultural. They, they almost kind of feel like you're traveling to a different place, um, like Mediterranean inspired I love that. almost, or yeah. European. Um, so the new colors for this color palette are Desert Flower, mm. which is in our regular acrylic formula. Um, celestial Sky, I love that Ooh. color name. Um, you know, the celestial trend has been around for quite a while now. Um, so this is available in Folk Art Multi-Surface. It's a really beautiful, rich, dark blue color with a little hint of green in it. And then in our regular acrylic formula, we have Mystic Turquoise. And then in Multi-Surface, a very similar color is Hawaiian Surf. I love that one. That's one of my favorite new colors. Yes, absolutely. Um, and then in Folk Art Multi-Surface and regular acrylic, we have Tangerine. Mm. So, um, as we've talked about, we have a lot of colors from this color story that are available in our regular acrylic formula, as well as our multi-surface formula. And we've touched on it a little bit with our apple barrel paint, but the great thing about Folk Art Multi-Surface, as well as Apple Barrel Multi-Surface, is that they are weather resistant. So you're able to craft those projects and then place them outside and not have to worry about it. Another great thing is that once these multi-surface paints cure, then they are able to be thrown in your dishwasher, the projects that you make with them. So you can make um, mugs and plates and lots of different dishware and beautiful, beautiful home decor pieces. And then they're super easy to uh, clean, which I is I love exciting. the idea of being able to put your crafts in your dishwasher. Because normally we say if you handcrafted it, you should hand wash it, but this is kind of an exception because those multi-surface paints are so durable. Like I'm going to say, you can just put them in the top rack of your dishwasher and you don't have to worry about the paint coming off or chipping. I think that's really, really cool. Yes, I 100% agree with you there, Jesse. Um, so we were talking about making spaces for your outdoor areas, but these are some really cute projects that we made here. Um, this is just a tin can that we then adhered some wooden dowels to, and then we crafted on top of it. So it's kind of like a trash to treasure moment here, which is, I feel like, really goes with our uh, theme of folkloric. 
I love that one. We have this um, beautiful hand-painted coaster, which would be great to pick up a, a set of coasters at Walmart and then craft something like this with. We talked a little bit about yesterday, or we talked a lot of it about <laughs> yesterday. We showcased all of our brand new surfaces that we're launching in Walmart this year. So a lot of different layered wooden shapes, some acrylic shapes that are going to be launched in Walmart this year. Lots of great surfaces. And one of our existing surfaces that is pretty popular at Walmart is a four pack of coasters, just like the ones I have in my hand right here. They have that raw wood edge. They are really, really versatile and really, really fun to craft with. Hmm. We have this beautiful wall hanging, which I think would look so cute on a patio or as a part of a gallery wall. We took some leather and we adhered it to this beautiful natural wood bowl. And then we took our folk art multi-surface paint and painted on top. So this is a really home decor, kind of Nordic inspired color palette. This is definitely one of my favorite color palettes. You have all those primary colors in there, but then you also, like we said, have those pops of jewel tones that really, really make it feel unique. This reminds, this palette reminds me of you, Emma. Thank you, Jesse. <laughs> That's a huge compliment. Okay, and of course, I'll bring it back for a second. Like we said, folk art paint is a really, really great paint to paint with. You can make some really beautiful painterly designs with our folk art paint, as I'm sure a lot of you know. Yeah. Okay, I'm very excited about this one. I know Jesse is too. Mm -hmm. So this is our Countryside Cottage color story. So um, Countryside Cottage and Cottage Core, as the young folks call it, has <laughs> been a huge trend for a couple of years now. Um, like we kind of talked about a little bit with our road trip color story, it's almost like going back to basics. Um, people are really, we're seeing a resurgence of people wanting to get back to the natural world. Um, so this is a really, really fun color story that uh, we get to showcase with you all here. So we have some really beautiful pastel colors and then some more muted colors as well. And I'm going to share with you all what the new paints are from this color story. So we have Folk Art Multi-Surface Shaved Chocolate. Ooh. We have Folk Art Multi-Surface Yellow Ochre. Woohoo! We get that multi-surface now. Yellow Ochre is one of my favorite colors. It's <laughs> such a beautiful um, mustardy yellow. Mm -hmm. It's really, really a gorgeous Paint color. Nerds. What'd you say? I said we're paint nerds. Yeah, I we're know. We're like yellow ochre, multi-surface. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> um, we, we're going to put yellow ochre on everything. <laughs> okay, we have Folk Art um, Barn Wood, which is a really beautiful muted kind of linen color. We have Cottage Rose. This might be actually, I know we really hyped up yellow ochre, but this might actually be my favorite from this <laughs> color story. It's a beautiful, beautiful, soft, velvety pink. And then lastly, we have Folk Art Ivy and Folk Art Multi-Surface Deep Jungle, which mm. is a really beautiful, rich green color. So like we said, this color story is all about rustic and rural trends, um, and it really evokes a sense of uh, something being handcrafted, mm -hmm. I feel like. Um, it reminds you, it's kind of like granny chic too. It reminds you yeah. of being at your grandma's house and there's uh, beautiful handmade quilts on the wall and all of these uh, beautiful pastel and muted colors. Simpler times. Simpler times for sure. Mm -hmm. And like we talked about, we have this color story here of these beautiful matte colors, but then you can add in pops of specialty paints as well. We have this uh, really pretty gold pot that just works so nicely with the rest of this color story. Here we have this little uh, stenciled planter, a little plantation rose. We have this really, really beautiful, very folk art style um, paper mache letter using a lot of the colors from, a lot of brand new colors mm -hmm. from our color story. That's one of my favorite projects we're showing today. Sherry Ragsdale painted that and I think that is just absolutely stunning. I know, it's beautiful. It looks so uh, delicate. Yes, it does. Yeah, we were talking about um, all the painterly things you can do with folk art acrylic paint. We have this really beautiful um, round stretched canvas, a beautiful base of those daisies, Jess. 
Yeah, I guess Pansies. those are daisies. That's yeah. actually one of our Let's Paint Live paintings. So if you guys like this round painting Emma's holding up, you can join Kirsten Jones next week um, right here on Facebook on Thursday at 7.30 p.m. and paint along with her. So just a little... Shout out. <laughs> a little plug, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that is a great thing to note, Jesse. But I love how rustic this looks. Um, we did a little bit of distressing on this canvas. It is a really, really beautiful painting. So like Jesse said, if this piques your interest, then make sure to tune into our Let's Paint Live next Thursday. All right, Jesse, any questions about our countryside cottage before I introduce our very last color story? I don't think so. June Haddock said so pretty. So. Just thanks, June. We think it's so pretty, too. We had so much fun putting all of these colors together for you guys. Again, if you're just joining us, we are debuting our brand new Folk Art Acrylic and Multi-Surface and Apple Barrel Acrylic and Multi-Surface colors that are available to you in-store in Walmart and on Walmart.com this year. So we've put together some really fun, super trendy palettes based on all of the trends you've been seeing the past couple of years. Um, and we just want to give you guys some inspiration with some of these new colors for 2022. Wonderful. Okay, so we are talking about our very last color story that we have to share with you all today. And this is featuring our apple barrel paint again. So this color story we are calling Wake Up Brights, which I'm really excited about. Um, it kind of reminds me of art class. <laughs> you get all of these primary colors and then those really fun pops of magenta and those really fun pops of lime green, um, which are just, it's what it sounds like, Wake Up Brights. It's very energetic. You get all of those diverse colors. It's a really dynamic color story that we're talking about. So there's two new colors in Apple Barrel um, that are featured in this color story. It is Apple Barrel Dark Blue Gray um, and Apple Barrel Cinnamon Stick, mm. which is available in regular acrylic and multi-surface. So uh, we talked a little bit about how you can make your multi-surface projects dishwasher safe. So here we've done that with some beautiful mugs. We used just a small flat brush to get these really beautiful um, stroke patterns. Look how cute these are in like a set like that. Mm -hmm. Adorable. A great gift too. Yes, totally. Um, and the great thing about Walmart is that once you're in the craft aisle, it doesn't have to end there. You can go to the home decor aisle mm -hmm. or the, um, what aisle? The kitchen you? aisle, things the like that. Aisle, yeah, things like that, and really get creative with your apple barrel and your folk art paints. We have this beautiful geode-inspired planter. Another one of those great coaster projects that we made this sweet little rainbow on, really bright and cheerful. And because a lot of these are multi-surface colors, we made these adorable terracotta pots, which are great for summer. These would make a really great teacher gift or even neighbor mm -hmm. gift. I love that. Put a little succulent in there for the end of the year for your kids' teachers. That's a great idea. Yes. Um, and just like our folk art paint, I know we always talk about it being artist inspired and so rich and creamy and blendable and great for painting but our apple barrel paint is really great for painting as well so don't feel like you just need to use the folk art paint if you are a painter we made this beautiful painting with our apple barrel paint with some beautiful vibrant blues and yellows and i'm pretty sure that this uh, the center of our sunflower here um, includes our apple barrel cinnamon stick i love that you can see how beautiful it is and so that is our last color story, Jesse. Awesome. Thanks so much, Em. So you guys, I see you guys are loving it. Roseanne said, loving all the new colors. June said they just got some of the multi-surface uh, paints recently. And Tina said loving them. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. We are so glad you enjoyed our, our brand new colors at Walmart for 2022. So don't forget, if you're inspired and you'd like to purchase some of these brand new paints, you can find them on Walmart.com or in your local Walmart store. Um, and like we said, all week we've gone live to show you guys our brand new products in Walmart this year. So if you've missed some of those live streams, make sure to go back on our Facebook page right here and check those out and get inspired and see what we have in store for you this year and what you can find in your local Walmart. Um, and we will see you next time. Bye, guys.